Hi, and you are welcome to LB Automotive. In this video, I will be talking about the signs of a bad brake disc. So, a brake disc is a metallic substance made from iron or cast iron or carbon composite, which is attached to the suspension of a car or in a motorcycle or a bicycle. And this disc is a uh, uh, with by the brake pad at the help of the caliper and which helps to produce friction between the brake pad and the brake disc and also bring the vehicle either to a stop or slow the vehicle down while the vehicle is on their motion. So that is a brake disc. So we have two different types of uh, all kind of uh, brake discs. We have the solid rotor brake disc which you are seeing on the screen. And also we have the vented rotor brake disc, which is also on the screen. These are the two different brake discs that we have. We, order, we have other types in the market, but uh, it's either they are solid or they are vented. It doesn't matter the design that is on the surfaces of the brake disc. So now I'll be talking about the signs of a bad rotor. So the first sign, when you step on your brake pedal, you notice a vibration on your steering wheel. Number two sign is position brake pedal. So when you step on your brake pedal while your vehicle is in motion, you notice uh, your brake pedal is holding and releasing. You feel that up and down movement on your brake pedal. That would be a sign that your brake rotor is sporting. So, so one other sign that to prove that your brake disc is faulty is when you hear the intermittent noise from your brake wheel, from the disc. Number four sign is grinding when you step on the brake pedal. So when you step on your brake pedal and the uh, brake pad is supposed to come in contact with the brake rotor or the brake disc, and you hear that grinding sound, that means your brake disc is damaged. It's either the disc is worn out or the brake pad has worn to the extent when the brake disc is not making direct contact with the metal part of the uh, brake pad, which automatically has caused a lot of damage wear on your brake disc. So number five sign is crushing on after you have replaced your brake pad. So before you replace that brake pad, it, has, it might be that the old brake pad that is one that has caused a lot of damage to your brake uh, disc. So it's advisable to replace that uh, brake uh, disc. Number six sign is your brake disc is out of shape. It's not dead as a result of heat, poor material, very important that that disc should be replaced so that your brake system will be very effective. Number seven sign is deep groove and scores. So when you when you carry out your uh, vehicle for inspection, I notice that uh, there is deep groove and scores on the surfaces of the disc. So it's very important that the brake disc should be replaced with a new one. Number eight sign of a bad brake disc is crack on the rotor. It is very important that those discs are replaced. Now my nine sign is blue discolorization. So when you notice during inspection that your brake disc surface is becoming bluish, very important that that brake disc be replaced. Number 10 is when you have corrosion on the brake disc, when there's excessive corrosion on the surfaces of your brake disc or if something that your technician can advise you on maintenance, maintaining it, carry out some little repairs, then it should be done. But if it is beyond the uh, limit, then get it replaced. Number 11 sign is strong chemical film. When you notice this harsh smell coming out from the brake disc, it's as a result of High temperature and heat, the brake disc 
might have lost his strength. So it's very important that that bridge is in place. Number 12 sign is when your brake rotor are warm or run out. When it's no longer, the surfaces are no longer even. So it's very important that that brake fixed or rotor be replaced. Another sign is when you notice that your braking system is inconsistent. When you step on your brake pedal, sometimes it doesn't hold hard, sometimes it takes a little distance. It's very important that your brake dips be inspected and the brake pad to ensure they are still in good condition. Another sign is when your brake dips is over sensitive or your brake dips is insensitive when you step on your brake that will be a sign that your brake rotor needs to be uh, inspected, replaced or maintained. Number 15 sign could be long braking distance. When you step on your brake on the high speed and you discover the distance the vehicle travels before it comes to a stop. So now we're talking about the causes of the brake disc failure. So number one cause is sudden stopping, emergency stopping. When you are traveling on a very high speed and you hit an emergency brake, all this could cause a serious worm, worn out of your brake rotor, most especially when your brake parts are worn out. And automatically this will wear the brake uh, disc faster. So number two cause is constantly hitting your brake. Every minute you're accelerating, you're decelerating. Accelerating and hitting your brake. Accelerating and hitting your brake because your speed is not controlled. This could generate a serious heat on the brake disc. And if the property or the material using the producing the brake disc cannot withstand such heat, it could lead to wear out of that brake disc. So it's very important that you have a control speed which you reduce the amount of time you step on your brake. So number three sign that will lead to brake rotor failure is a brake pad, one hand brake pad. When you are driving on a one hand brake pad, so please ensure you have a good maintenance culture on your brake system. Ways you can use to pull up your brake disc or brake rotor. Number one, is to observe your speed limits. Try to maintain your driving speed limit so that you end up avoiding excessive braking. So drive a control speed where you don't really need the brake system to slow down the vehicle. All you need is to take your left on the acceleration pedal and the vehicle slow down before you hit on the brake. We should definitely reduce the amount of heat and wear on your brake system. Number two way you can take care of your brake rotor is that if you are in a dense traffic area or pedestrian area, you don't have to run speed. All you need to do is to reduce your speed and drive at the control speed when you don't need to hit on an emergency brake. Third way you can use to prolong your brake pad or brake discs is to whenever you hit on an emergency brake system and you are driving on a high speed, sometimes you need to reduce your speed so that you will avoid hitting on the brake again so that the brake pad or brake disc can cool down while you are still driving but at a control speed to enable the heat gained by the brake to be released. The atmosphere. A fourth way is to avoid overloading your vehicle. When your vehicle is overloaded and you are using it to travel on a high speed, when you step on the brake, the brake discs and brake pad wear faster because it requires a lot of forces and friction to slow that vehicle down. Number six way is when you replace a new brake pad on your brake system. Ensure to follow the manufacturer's recommendation.
to deaden of the surfaces of the brake pad so that the brake pad and the brake can have a good contact surface. We is to ensure that you carry your vehicle for frequent or periodic inspection and maintenance. If you have a damaged brake rotor and you want to replace it, ensure that the brake pad is inspected properly to ensure it is still in good condition. If not, get your brake pad replaced. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also the like button. More videos on how to take care of your automobile will be uploaded on this channel. Please subscribe to this channel.